Baby, let me tell you about some fuck shit. Baby, let me tell you about an idiot. Baby, let me tell you about a dumb bitch. Blab with Britney. Let's blab. Hey y'all. So we're gonna be talking about Olivia lives life, dumbass moron. Y'all know how I feel because I told y'all in the last video. So <clears throat> Olivia got her kids back. She decided the first thing she was gonna post is a dumbass Instagram story. So I'm sure you all have saw it. Um, it was terrible grammar. Um, you know, you know, Olivia. Anyways, so when I tell y'all the social shit is fake and people be putting on for the camera, just like you, you said everything you post is for entertainment. It's fake. It's not real. So you're talking about yourself. Tell me why father of the year brought my kids back there, his kids too with their hair not done you sent them with their hair not done knowing school starts next week so do you you also know that school starts next week um and so concerned why not send them back with their hair done why didn't you send them with their hair done for the summer you can get their hair done for school bitch like he got their hair done for the summer you get their hair done for school you want him to do everything, but not have all the time. No, bitch, it doesn't work like that. Then she says, and you have the nerve to send them back with no school clothes and fucking flip-flops. What did you send them in, Olivia? Hmm? Did you send them with bags of clothes? And then he kept them all? That's what I thought. So you buy them school clothes. You have... All those cash apps for the lawyer that you didn't get. You saved tons of money not throwing two birthday parties. You didn't buy two kids birthday gifts. You have all the super chats for your kidnapping story. And you have all the cash apps for your kidnapping story. And you have all of uh, the Carol donations. So since you don't have a lawyer to show for it, you didn't pay for a flight back home. There is no fucking way that I would have traveled to Florida to get my kids and I'm paying to fly them back. Bitch, you got me fucked up. So you saved quite a lot of money this summer. You didn't buy food for three kids for the whole summer. You didn't clothe three kids for the whole summer. You didn't do hairstyles for three kids for the whole summer. You didn't pay for birthday parties, birthday presents. What's the problem, Olivia? You knew when school started. They're in Florida, not Texas. So you know when the Florida schools start. Um, you have tons of money to be buying designer shades, getting your nails done with money, dollars in them, getting those ugly ass box braids. So you should have tons of money. Ask Carol for the shit. Oh. I guess since you can't post it on social media, or use it against me in court, you ain't gonna do it. This nigga's weak, and I'm sick of this fake ass running for social media. He wants two things, child support and stimulus checks. Olivia, you know as well as the rest of the world knows that being woken up by three children, going out and having to keep an eye on three children, pay for three children to have fun, clothe three children, feed three children, take care of three children. That's not worth income tax and stimulus checks. So you're being an idiot. We already know you're an idiot, but you're like showing us even more that you're like a bitter, stupid idiot. So just stop it. Just stop it. Just stop it. So another thing I didn't know if I was going to talk about or not because I think she's such an idiot just like Liv. I think they're in like the same idiot bubble except for Liv. Liv doesn't look as unfortunate as this next person. We're going to talk about Rain. 
And if you don't know who Rain is, I'm talking about Storm. Fucking Rain gets on my nerves. I think she's an idiot, just like Liv. But now, she's said some things. <sighs> you already know in her little interview with Liv, she made some skin color comments about, oh, they're mad that they're not light like us Fran isn't light like us that's why she's mad but now this bitch has decided to say that two cents has taco meat hair so in her recent video trying to defend that statement of two cents having taco meat hair she said that not all black women have taco meat hair just two cents has taco meat hair and she holds it back with a headband. Two Cents has a short cut on her natural hair and it looks like a lot of us black women's hair, mine included. So I don't understand how you could say that that comment is aimed just at her. Then she also tried to say that her saying <laughs> Two cents said she looks like raw meat when naked. First of all, raw meat is not white or light skin. Raw meat's pink. Unless you're talking about raw chicken. That's kind of a whitish color. But I think that two cents was referring to you looking like raw meat naked in more of a busted biscuit lumpy nasty slimy ew kind of way like people don't want to touch raw meat without gloves on you look nasty i think that's what she meant so i went looking for a photo to give you more of a visual and i came up with this i don't know which side's gonna come up on but this is the photo i came up with and i just feel like you're trying to twist it into two cents is colorist like you are but no Two Cents was talking about how nasty your body is and how you come on camera with no bra and you're always smoking and you just look yucky. You look dirty. You have that big old gap. You're always in a bonnet. That's that's what I think she was referring to. I don't think she was saying like raw meat's white, you're white. That's dumb. Saying someone is pale is not colorist. My dad is pale. I'm not a colorist. He's pale and his feet are clear. So I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, Rain's stupid. If I were you, I wouldn't watch her. And yeah, that's all I got to say about that. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Blab with Brittany. Let's blab.